Shea, what is the fourth trait of an analysis and solution mindset? Taking time to think about different ways of solving problems, and then testing out ideas to find the one that is best. So it's okay to test out an idea even if you're not 100% sure it's going to work? Absolutely. Um, in reality, you're very rarely going to find yourself in a situation where you know 100% that one thing is going to work. So you're going to have to try things anyway. Uh, the point really isn't to just try anything. You certainly don't want to try things that you know will fail. Uh, the point is to do a little bit of research, try things that you have a reasonable expectation, <laughs> that have a reasonable expectation of success, and then testing them out to find which one works best. And James, have you ever had an experience where in order to solve a problem you had to try a variety of solutions? I did. Uh, it was this one time when I was working at a theme park and we were doing a prep line at a restaurant. And so uh, the prep line was moving, and but however the customers were not moving in and out quickly. So I came up with one way to maybe help the line move quicker was to maybe prep 30 minutes before we open. Maybe that'll help it run quicker. That didn't work. The second thing I came up with was maybe if I just jump in and help another person add it in, that might make it move quicker. That didn't work either. So then from there I said, you know what? Maybe if the before prep person switches with the after prep, maybe that'll help things move quicker. And sure enough, when we made the switch, everything flowed so much faster. It was crazy, unbelievable. <laughs> That's really great that you were able to take the time to kind of come up with all of those different ideas for a solution. Um, now, if you weren't able to find that solution mm -hmm. for the first two times, were there any negative repercussions? Oh, yes. Uh, the first two times trying those two ways made the customers grow very impatient, very angry, you know, on top of getting their food. So they're not really enjoying their time, and which is money spent being at a theme park nowadays. You know, you want to have a good time when you're doing that. Yeah, you know, it. Uh, anytime you confront uh, a problem and your f first solution doesn't work, you know, it, it feels bad, right? You yes. feel some frustrations, uh, but but they're temporary, right? Because the first solution that you tried pointed you to another solution, and ultimately to the correct one. Um, so you did a really great job of, of powering through that frustration until you got the problem solved. Uh, the other really interesting thing too is you identified the particular skill sets of the people that you were working with. And you realized, hey, wait a minute, if I just switch them around, all of a sudden I don't even need to add people and I have a more efficient operation. And that, that really demonstrates keen insight. Thank you. <laughs> Divide yourselves into groups of three or four. Then work together to pick out a problem that is facing your school or community. After that, brainstorm potential solutions. When you have at least five possible tactics, work together to pick the three possibilities that are most likely to be effective. If you have time, do the same thing with another problem. Mm -hmm.